Hello my friend, today you will learn how to connect your Laravel project to your database. In order to do it we need to open inside our root folder the environment file, that environment. And here we have got values that are connected to our database. We need to send them properly. But firstly we need to run our MySQL database. And in order to do it we can run it using for example XAMPP and then we need to run the Apache because we need to be able to open the MySQL using the PHP MyAdmin. So now we can go to localhost and type PHP MyAdmin. And here we can create our database. And we can call it, for example, to the app database, okay? And create it. So we've created database. We can now access it. We can create tables from here, but we will not do it, okay? Because in Laravel, everything that you do, you do from PHP, yes. I will talk about that in future lecture. In this lecture, I'm gonna tell you how to connect to this database. So all we need to do right now is copy the name of the database and paste it here. Because, look, we are right now on the port 3306. This is the default one, as you can see. And this is the DB host that we are using. And this is the connection to MySQL. You can change the connection to different database. You don't need to use MySQL, okay? If you want to use different one, here in the config database, you can see that you can use MySQL, you can use PostgreSQL, SQL Server, and even SQL. Light. You just need to change the value that uh, that, that is one of the uh, here, right, in the database PHP. If you want to use different one, here you need to type the username and password. This is the default one for the PHP my admin database, and so it's now working fine. We can check it. Let's run our server. So in order to run our server, we can use the F1 command in Visual Studio Code, but I must show you one more thing because some people will still use the terminal. And the problem about Laravel is that when I run the PHP Artisan program and then I type the serve, which is running our server, as you can see, we cannot find the Artisan. It's because, look, we have got here what? A folder inside another folder. Notice that uh, we created inside the to-do list app another folder when we were creating a project. We can have more projects here. So to be honest, we shouldn't be working on what? On the main folder here, but we should be working on the to-do app. So in order to change it, we need to go into file and then we need to close this folder and we need to open not the main folder right but this one and now when I do something like create a new terminal so terminal new terminal I can run the PHP artisan and then run the server as you can see now it's running fine this is very important because well you can use this command start the server and this is just gonna work because this is connected to your project the one that you have opened here however the things that you write here are always connected to the folder that is opened right and this might lead to many problems believe me i've lost some time uh, when i didn't notice this so <laughs> uh, this is gonna save you lots of time so we can run our server now, right? It's running fine. Uh, we can open it easy using the localhost 80000. And in next lecture, we're gonna say how to update the content here, okay? This is pretty funny because you do not do anything here, right? Everything is gonna come creating the tables from PHP. Why it comes from here, I will tell you in the next lecture. So have fun and uh, see ya soon. <laughs>